Kaboo. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, in this video I went completely green <laughs> and I'll, sh I'll tell you why and what happened and why what I found and I found an amazing thing for this week uh, because the Genesis is mutated in its nature mutation and therefore there's maybe something in your stash that it's completely OP at the moment and can be really useful. So stick around. The thing that I'll tell you is that at the moment there is a Garden of Genesis which is grown mutation, which is nature mutation. And you might have a piece of gear in your inventory that could be good for you. And that is the arboreal conditioning parts with Angry Earthward. What this gives you at the moment is basically almost a second part, a second set of gear on top of your gear. Now I'm not saying that this is going to be forever because as soon the dungeon will switch to other mutation, you will lose this perk. I mean, you will still have the perk on your equipment, but the problem is the perk will lose the meaning. Why am I using it at the moment? It's because I got this really nice light hardware with insatiable gravity well, which is completely insane at the moment when you come to the tree, you know, that tree that you have to protect from the monsters inside of the dungeon. And I really want to have the angry earth wards on all of my sets, but, so I have the regular pants at 625 and I don't want to lose all my shards because I'm really low on shards as you can see. And through this progression I can just have my trinkets up to 625. Uh, two types of gear. A great sword that I'll show you why I crafted this great sword for this dungeon at the moment specifically. And I'm at 613. So I'm eligible to play up to level 6. Now, when I finish level 6, I'll be able to upgrade another piece of gear and then fourth progress to level 7. Now, why am I telling you this as well? Because it is important for you to not go insane into the gear straight away. Because I know that there is no way that level 10s will, I mean, that whoever's doing elite runs will allow you to play with shit gear. But still, you don't need to go in and buy yourself 100k of gear. Now, what because uh, you will be finding these at the lower levels as well. I think they start at level 4, yeah. And you have a, a small chance of getting the word but if nothing else you will be getting these now these are also really good they're really nice for you and I, I believe they start with uh, is it three yeah you'll be no I'm wrong yeah you'll be getting these at level three so if you just start with a couple of like Two word pieces go for one to three and then add up your but what I'm saying is maybe you have these and these are at the moment these are insane because basically what this means is because I have two these two pieces it's the same as having almost four of them so that's why I can have regular pants and I can have this light hardware which has in Insatiable gravity well and refreshing on it and it's still good it's still good I mean this is not the gear that I'm gonna be rocking when I'll hit level 8 9 and 10 I will switch this gear or maybe I'll even use it or maybe I'll switch regular pants and the hood for even more nature protection which is gonna be completely insane and I'll, I'll still be able to be light and not dying you know so this is the first part now the second part is craftsman's 
craftsman's passion and for this let's jump to neural database quickly as you can see there is not a lot of named great swords with angry earth bane uh, and the biggest problem about this is uh, location where do they drop for instance uh, this one is only contained in angry earth equipment caches which it's basically impossible for you to get uh, the other one is one of the elusive ones that uh, nobody even knows where it drops or it's actually just a random drop so good luck with that and there's even another one that's a uh, also a world drop and it drops from sacred sabakins which are the alligators and i've tried to farm this for extended period of time and i couldn't find even one of the weapons that the named weapons that they drop because beside this you can also get war hammers great axes and so on with the angry earth bait now why i decided for craftsman's passion we have to go from neural database and go back to the game where i will show you why is this the cheapest legendary greatsword at the moment the first thing that you'll need is the schematic now the schematics go for 660 gold it's not that it, this is this is cheap right so you'll buy a schematic i already had it there's a big chance you already have it as well now before we go to the forge and see what it what it requires we can also check the greatsword with the same stats if there's any on it how much would it cost right and we have one and it's 50 thousand gold on my server it costs 14 asmodium which is on my server about three thousand uh, three and a half k gold seven runic leather which is about let's say we're at four and a half k gold ten glittering ebony which is another 2k so we're at 7k and the rest is really cheap. The Empowered Counterbalances are go for 25 gold, something like that. I bought one, I already had one. So, altogether, this sword yesterday when I was crafting it, uh, costed me 7k gold. Uh, but I already had the resources, so it was free for me. And I have to say, I am happy with it. I have the Knighted Gem inside at the moment. And uh, I think this is the, the, the cheapest way to go through uh, this week dungeon. I hope this video helped you in any way. Uh, I know that probably everybody will not agree with me on the arboreal conditioning, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so, I wish you the best in the game, I wish you the best of the luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, it looks cool. And we're gonna do some uh, flamey flamey gems. The ignite one, right? Yep, and it burns. And it burns.